For majority of us, watching films that revolve around space is the closest we'll ever get to astronaut experience, right? Whether it's sci-fi thrillers or documentaries or dramas that delve deeper into real-life space missions, these space projects help us explore the struggles that astronauts faced while getting there. Neil Armstrong, a NASA astronaut, was the first person to walk on the moon on July 20, 1969. An accomplished test pilot, Armstrong made to history books with his words, it's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Besides Armstrong, 11 other astronauts have been successful in putting their feet down on Earth's closest neighbour, the moon. These men achieved this success between 1969 and 1972 with NASA's Apollo 11 17 missions. Mars has historically not been very friendly to Earth's attempt to visit it. Even though several missions have been attempted to Mars, most of them have failed which further explain that space exploration is very, very tough. When you launch to Mars, buddy, you're on your own. And, there's, and, the, and the communications is less and less and less. And so you're going to have to learn how to repair, replace, manufacture, all of these things in space uh, on the way to the moon. So, I mean, on the way to Mars. Uh, to, to me, Mars is going to be a big deal, uh, and we're not ready to do that yet, I, I don't think, with human, human beings. And U.S. President Donald Trump, in his recent tweet, had commented on his own administration's space policy. For all of the money we are spending, NASA should not be talking about going to the moon. We did that 50 years ago. They should be focused on the much bigger things we are doing, including Mars, defense and science, he added. Lunar module pilot Charlie Duke, 83, who had walked on the moon, recently said, even if communication and infrastructure were feasible on Mars, there is still a whole host of problems when it comes to living in space. So even though people right from the 19th century have been obsessed with finding life on the Red Planet, it still remains a distant dream.